Bah, weep, grand, ah, weep, ninny, bum. If you're of a certain age, you'll get that reference. But we are back with a brand new video. And once again, you know where I am. So if there's any audio variances from the normal quality, you understand why. So, uh, I meant to do this video actually the other day, but life was lifing and I had to adult. And so I wasn't able to get to it the way I wanted to. Um, and let me kind of set this up. Well, well, let me let me back up. Uh, well, no, let me let me go where I said I was going to go. And this story is actually kind of with the Olymp the, the post Olympics and the NBA schedule reveal, the WNBA season starting, uh, college football starting to ramp up. The story somewhat got lost in the shuffle. But I'm going to give you a little bit of background, uh, expositional material, if you will. And um, this particular article that talks about it comes from NPR. And here it is. WNBA star, Erica Hamby, sued the WNBA. Well, the, the title is Sues the League and Her Former Team for Discrimination. Now, this particular story was written by Rachel Tressman, and it comes from NPR, but a variety of platforms, major and smaller have covered it so i'm going to run down a little bit i'm not going to read the whole story the link to this will be in the description box of this video but fresh off an olympic bronze medal she played on the uh, three on three team for those of you who didn't know um basketball star Erica hamby has filed a federal lawsuit against the wnba and her former team the los angeles aces the three-time wa all-star and two-time six woman of the year is accusing the league and her former team of discriminating and retaliating against her while she was pregnant, culminating in her trade to the Los Angeles Spark in January of 2023. Defendant's decision to trade uh, Hamby was motivated by Hamby's announcement that she was pregnant after signing her contract extension, reads the 18-page complaint filed in U.S. District Court in Nevada on Monday. <clears throat> uh, they're asking for punitive and compulsory, compensatory, I'm sorry, and punitive damages to be determined at a trial. Um, the WNBA did not respond to NPR's request for comment, but a spokeswoman said the league has told multiple media outlets that officials are reviewing the complaint. ACES coach Becky Hammond has denied Hamby's allegations in the past. Uh, saying in May 2023, the trade came down to math and business. We made the decision to move Hamby because we could get three bodies for her one contract, Hammond told reporters. Her pregnancy was never an issue, and it was never the reason she was traded. It just wasn't. Um, so I'm going to, it goes on into it. Uh, like I said, I don't want to read the complete article and steal her thunder because it is a bit lengthy. But what prompted me to further do this video was this um, uh, thread, tweet thread that I came across um, from Kicks Magazine. And if this is to be believed, uh, wow, then she's going to wipe the floor with them in this lawsuit. So let me, let's get to it. Let's do that. Fans are calling for Beck Hammond to be fired after stunning messages with Dierica Hamby are revealed. A thread. And it starts. During a phone call between Coach Hammond and Dierica Hamby on January the 15th, 2023, Hammond asked whether she planned a pregnancy. When Hamby responded she did not, Hammond told Hamby she was not taking proper precautions not to get pregnant. During that same call, Hammond questioned Hamby's commitment and dedication to the team, telling her that she was a question mark. Wow. Hammond further stated the Aces needed bodies and that Hamby would, would not be ready to play in time for the start of the next season. 
In response, Hamby assured Hammond that she was committed to the team and would be giving birth during the offseason and anticipated being fully ready to play by the start of the 2023 preseason. During the same call, Hammond accused Hamby of signing her contract extension, knowingly pregnant, of false accusation, which Hamby denied. Oh, but coach wasn't done yet. Hammond then informed Hamby that it was believed by the Aces staff that Hamby would get pregnant again for a third time. Wow, oh, wow. It continues. Hammond then accused, uh, Hammond accused Hamby of not taking her off-season workout seriously. Though seven months pregnant at the time, Hamby was working out as regularly as permitted by her doctors, including playing basketball and doing regular Pilates and calisthenics workouts. Hammond went on, God darn Becky Hammond, went on to tell Hamby that she did not hold up her end of the bargain and no one expected her to get pregnant again, implying that by signing the contract extension, Hamby implicitly agreed she wouldn't get pregnant. The Aces proceeded to trade Derricka Hamby to the Los Angeles Sparks. This season, she's averaging 19.4 points and 10 rebounds per game. Looks like it was Becky Hammond's lost loss, excuse me, in the end. So as I read through this um, initially on my own, and then even as I read these tweets to you all, a couple of things just jumped right out at me. And maybe they did for you too. That let's just say, let's, let's, let's put our skeptic cap on and we're looking at it with a grain of, of salt taking it with a grain of salt if just half half of, of the allegations in this thread and and by extension in the lawsuit are true because a lot of this is 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 mirrored this is mirrored what's said in the lawsuit then the los angeles ace not not los angeles the las vegas aces are a really crappy organization and becky hammond you're a horrible person well because I, I and, and I want to say that and I, I didn't have time to look it up that Skylar Diggins Smith dealt with something similar not quite to this extent but she, she you know she felt dealt with some static as well team when she was, was uh, when she had her baby and what amazes me is that um, uh, 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 women's basketball league it seems to catch these teams completely off guard that at some point one of their players may choose to bring life into the world and in that it may serve as a minor inconvenience to you now considering laws and contractually speaking you can't say you can't have a baby so you have to know that this is a possibility and the fact that they allegedly, let me say that, had this adverse reaction to this is very, very confusing, but it's also very, very telling. The other thing is that, I, and I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, the lack of uh, media attention and coverage that this has got. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, where is Malika Andrews on this? I thought she was a champion for women. Where is Jamel Hill? They're supposed to be these champion for women. They have been silent on this. Okay? And don't tell me it's because the Olympics was going on. Because when other big moments are going on, if Lake Andrews can find time to try to ruin the biggest night of Brandon Miller's life to talk about something that he was, that, that he didn't even get in trouble about and was not connected to all that, or do the same thing with Joe Missoula when he gets uh, the Celtics job and she digs back into his past from the alleged incident. Um, and I'm trying to figure out why you don't have anything to say about this because you, allegedly, you should be at the forefront of championing um, Miss Hamby's cause because is it not the right of women to, to choose? If she wants to bring life to the world, how can the WNBA and the, the Las Vegas Aces not, not prevent her, but make it very retaliate on her? Let's say that's what the word I'm looking for. 
for doing so. But you've been very silent. Oh, I know why. Because there's no black man for you to blame this on. That's what it is. See, there's no black boogeyman, so you can't. So you, so you're not mad. It's o- it's okay when the person in the wrong is non-black. That's perfectly fine. Because I'm betting if there was a black GM or a black male head coach, she'd be all over this. She'd be all up in a tizzy on ESPN and on social media and all these things. And, you know, the whole media sisterhood of failure would just be up in arms about this. But they have their, their silence is deafening on this. You know, some of these other uh alleged advocates for women they have been very very quiet and it's just like i have written about and it's just like i've said it's so it's it's selective outrage they get mad only when it fits into a certain criteria so it's not about protecting women it's not about that you know it's not about hey losers shut up and stop you know, respect or and respect Simone Biles and her marriage because they seem happy, and because your life is jacked up, you want to try to try to try to ruin her life. And I, I went off on that tangent just to just to to say that they they never have anything to say unless it fits in a certain criteria, which makes when which makes it when they do say something, it makes it ring hollow and fake because it's not authentic we can sniff that out but I I, I really had to to point that out because you would think this would be the type of thing that that people like that in in certain organizations would get up in arms where's the national organization of women on this why have they not called out the WNBA again see my my previous reasons that's why tell you these these organizations they only advocate when it's beneficial to them and they get to to exact pressure or or whatever you want to call it on quote unquote uh, parties that, that fit into a certain uh, category and it's just really sad and, and like I said if this is true man I hope she sues them back into the stone age because this is a terrible terrible look for the WNBA you, you know you, you talk about you're, you're trying to empower women but Here's a woman who was engaged in one of the most sacred and special things on the planet, and that's uh, bringing life into the world. And here it is, the organization just cast her aside like she wasn't nothing and tried to, to, to give her a hard time about it. But, you know, it's about, but the league runs around and talk about their, about, the empowering of women and all these type stuff. It just seems a bit fraudulent to me. But with that being said, I'm going to uh, end this video. And um, I'm just curious, what do you think about this? Have you even heard about it um, up until this this video? Like I said, it hasn't been making the media rounds um, as it should be. But what do you think uh, about it? Let us know. Let's have a conversation about it. And as always, you know, I thank you for spending a few moments with me. And as always, 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 make sure to tell the ones that you love that you love them. Peace.